she is our basically our muse, and we love this woman. Yolanda and Vega on the podcast would be a great get. We want to get Yolanda Vega on this podcast. This is the woman who draws the New York State lottery numbers, and she has a little calling card, and uh, this is what she says. You ready for this? For Hey Babe, now and forever, I am Yolanda Vega. Good luck, everybody. You know, this is not the way it was done. That's reaching into a bin. And the first follow way. Is 63. Literally, Bonus. you just enacted Sal's fantasy of Yolanda <laughs> Vega pulling lottery balls out of his lap. The the biggest lottery winner of all time, Mr. Vega, who got to marry you. That's, That's right. what I'd like Thank to say. You, Point. Right. Thank yes. you. I know how to talk to my Puerto Ricans. <laughs> I, say, <laughs> I say I hit the jackpot when I started the job. Um, I started the job in 90, uh, February 1990, and Miguel and I had been married four years. And we've been trying to have kids, and it wasn't happening. Right. And he's a state trooper, and wow. I work wow. for New York State Lottery. And I said, you know what? Um, I, w I was working doing accounting, though. I was working at a bagel company. Um, so you were I, doing accounting for a bagel yeah, company I my degree, at the time? I have my degree from Hunter College in economics. Then <gasps> it's is from Hunter, Hunter College. Hunter wow. Hunter college. wow. Look at that. Oh, my God. You went on to do the New York State Lottery. She works for us. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. It's fantastic. Yes, it is. Woman power. <laughs> she, she ordered, <laughs> she, this week, she ordered me a chocolate uh, M&M suit. <laughs> <laughs> same, same. But I have an accounting degree, and I went to work upstate Albany because I was born and raised in New York City, Brooklyn, sure. for like 30 years. Yes. And then he married me. He says, I'm a state trooper in Albany, so you marry me, you got to move up to Albany. And I was like, take me away. So it took me away. And, and you left the bagels. I left. No, I left working for a restaurant down here okay. on 9th and 41st in Manhattan up to Brugger's Bagels. Health Kitch. Yeah. Okay. Up to Brugger's Bagels up in Albany. And okay. I was doing their accounting work when the job knocked on my door for being a lottery person. So I'll tell you about that in a second. Okay. But we train of thought. So um, we've been trying to have kids. It. And it was four years we were married. And I started at the lottery in, Jan in February of 1990. And in May of 1990, we got pregnant. Wow. So we hit the lottery. We hit the jackpot. Wow. Yes. Yes, we did. Your beautiful daughter, who we just My met. My other beautiful daughter, Gabriela, who is yes. 32, and Rebecca is turning 31 in two days. Wow. wow. Oh, you have Irish twins, Bless as we I call them. Irish back twins, yes. Back to back. <laughs> Irish twins. I love it. Yes. <laughs> and before we forget, Rebecca is getting married to Matt in 9124. Now, Matt is my little gringo from Long Island. Yes. And he's marrying a little Boricua, you know, right. full Boricua. Right. So he's becoming another Chris. He's becoming me. He's a little Chrissy D. And the we'll parallels are endless. And we're going to we're gonna talk him through it. And, and we will get him here. We're going to have a one-on-one -on -one with him. We're going to talk. Um, but so wait a second. So that means, so you would, so this whole time, yeah. you know, when, when we would see you as, as growing up on the New York, uh, you know, reading the lottery numbers, you were traveling from Albany every day to New York City to read those numbers? No, the numbers were drawn in the Albany area. In ah, Schenectady. See? Oh, I yes. never knew that. Did you know that? Yes. Did you know that? No idea. I thought you were in Manhattan. No. Shout no, out to no, Connect. No. We wow. Had, we have regional offices, sales offices everywhere, but the drawings were up in Schenectady. Okay, I have wow. so many questions. Come on, baby. Okay. So many. Hit me. Okay, so you said the job knocked at your door. Yes. Explain. Okay, so I was working doing accounting in the in the bagel place yeah. and um, also another restaurant. So I went from this regular restaurant called Cranberry Bog, which doesn't exist anymore, okay. to the bagel place. And when I was at the Cranberry Bog, going to the bagel place, someone said to me, hey, um, the lottery's looking for someone to do drawings at night, um, work in the evening, announce winning numbers. Would you like to do it, Yolanda? A friend of mine, Francis. And I said, I don't have any experience. I've never been on the radio or the TV. I don't think so. Oh, my goodness. I couldn't do it. Oh, come on. Audition. So I auditioned. The day I went to audition, There, are, remember, I was already 34 years old. And there were well, all these you are a queen and a <laughs> goddess. And, I, and yes. you just noticed today that you are wearing the same outfit as your bobblehead, which yes. thank you for that. Love red and black, baby. Yes. Love so, it. So I go for the audition. as all these young girls... And I said to myself, oh, my God, I don't stand a chance in hell in being selected. So I went up there, and I was just my normal Yolanda Vega self, and they chose me. Sure, wow. because you you exuded you. I you gave them the, you you, gave them you, the piece I, of you. I didn't have that at the time. I was just Yolanda Vega. Okay. Uh, that developed six oh, months later. Oh, really? You know how? How? He's going to tell us how she developed Yolanda Vega. What happened? Okay, you, sorry. you know how it developed? Yes, please. How I started. People ask me, how do you, did you think, give it a lot of thought, consciously, unconsciously? I drink 
espresso coffee. <laughs> and wow. I drink a lot of espresso coffee. You know, right. the Puerto Rican coffee? Cafe sure. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And in. that morning, I drank a lot. So yeah. we're still in training, and I get up there, and the, the 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 director producer has a stop clock, a stopwatch, and he's like, "Go!" And I said, "For the New York Lottery, I'm Yolanda Vega at the time," and uh, but I really stretched my name out. And he says, "That's too long. You're killing too many seconds with your name. You gotta shorten oh, your name." Oh, fu- and I hope he's in a ditch somewhere <laughs> right now. He doesn't know what he's. And, That's the whole essence of it. And I said to him, no, I can't do that because that's who I am. That's who I feel inside. That's who I'm going to project. Love this. And I kept it. And I really kept it because it got longer. Yolanda Vega. It got longer, 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 longer. And anyway, the rest is history. And then you got it. Wow. See, you stay true to who you were. That's a good lesson, kids. (laughs) I mean, someone else in in that position, if it wasn't you, I don't think would have had the trajectory and the impact that you've had. I guarantee you, because of your personality and the bubbliness and that fun and how people kind of like you in that way, I guarantee you, you are responsible directly for extra sales. (laughs) I, I, I so. do believe that. For them, I hope so. I do believe that. <laughs> Truly. Believe. No, and, and and to stick to who she is, the cojones it takes <laughs> yes. for you to say, you know what? Because you could have easily been influenced by this person who said, you, basically trying to tell you, hey, you'll get the job if you listen to me. You said, no, F you. I'm going to do what I want to do. And then you got the job anyway. That's a little I lesson. love it. In oh. spite of it. A good <laughs> lesson to stick true to who you are. And everybody needs to think about right now. Everyone needs to activate their little Yolanda Vegas that live inside them. <laughs> yes. If you're at a job somewhere and someone requests something of you that you don't like you say to them fuck you yeah and excuse my language <laughs> don't 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 please let it fly oh okay yes. you <laughs> say to them hey fudge you and i'm gonna do what i want and i think everything will be fine yeah you say f uh, no, i don't care who you are whatever you say f you i'm gonna do what i want and this is your london Vega, <laughs> and you walk <laughs> away <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> Don't be a flake, don't run away.